And oh yeah, just to also say this to get it off my chest, because I really need to. The reason why you see all these young black guys coming into school with guns and weapons of all sorts, they all start killing each other for whatever reason, is because whatever love they ain't getting in a, in the home or whatever toxic situation they're being raised in, is causing them to act out in violence because nobody's loving them. And a hug from your father and a kiss on the forehead and I'm proud of you son type thing. You have no idea the impact on your child's life that would make. And all them bullets going into somebody else's body or your child being locked up is just a cry for help saying, where is my mom? Where is my dad? Why am I not loved? What would, like, why, why am I on this earth? What did I do to deserve this? Why am I here? All them gunshots are simply cries for help like, Oh, why did you not love me? Why am I here? What did I do to deserve this? And all that. But it ain't your word. It's just a, it's just a pop, 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 all that kind of shit. And like I said, I know that from experience because I lived around it. So I'm highly aware of why it happened. Then again, like I said, my dad tried to tell me, Oh, why are these young black guys in jail because they don't care about their life? And you can't tell me that it's a dad's not being there that made it like that. I'm like, you know, arguing with you is just, it ain't even worth it. It really ain't worth it. Because if there's one thing I'm starting to understand, really, is that a young black man wants to have a father figure in his life to teach him the way to be a man. Have someone to actually look up to and show him the road of life and make memories with that person. But unfortunately, a lot of the time, these black guys don't understand. You're creating a monster when you don't raise what you make. And you don't know who's going to have your child's best interest in heart when you're not around or who is. You don't know that. But you chose to just hit it, quit it, then run. Now you're mad because your child's be You're mad because your child chose to become something that you don't agree with. So now they're wrong for not doing what you want them to do and you should have been there to tell them the way to go. But instead of being a grown man, you ran like a child. Now you're mad that your child either knew how learned how to be a man without you or they just became a whole failure because you weren't there. So that's something you got to learn how to deal with on your own. That's your fault. You should have been there. You should have been there. Getting mad at these young black men because they don't know the way of life is your fault. You made them. You brought them on this earth. You should have been here to give them the advice they needed to make it in life. Seriously. You should have been there. And then the second they question you about why you wasn't there, then you try to get mad at them and make every reason for why you were not there. Instead of just being a grown-ass person and being there. Sorry for swearing, but it's just that real. But anyway, peace.